Hi guys, today I bring you the first video in my super huge series of how to link your existing digital planner notebook templates to Apple Calendar and more using shortcuts. This is a huge series, so be sure to watch the overview before you get into a specific part. The overview covers a lot, so I am able to save you time in the, in the specific videos, okay? So um, first I'm gonna show you what this is. This is gonna allow you to add an event into um, while you're working in GoodNotes, NoteShelf, Notability, et cetera, without actually having to leave your planner or notebook or whatever. So this is what it's gonna do. Are you ready? It's gonna bring up a little screen so you can add an event to your calendar. And this will also work in Google Calendar. I have a, uh, another video on that, okay? So it's just very handy and you can add this link anywhere, anywhere you want, in any document you want. Okay, so let's get into it. Before we do anything, you need to make sure you go to my website. Um, my website will look a little different um, when you get there. But um, my website and the video work hand in hand, okay? So um, you might wanna you know, maybe watch the video first or, you know, do it side by side, but they do, there's information in both places because one thing can do it all. So um, we're just going to walk through this. So the first thing you're going to want to do is read it. Um, this is the watching part. Now you have an option. You can create the shortcut yourself uh, in shortcuts and just follow along with me, or you can get the shortcut. So I have um, provided a link here and you can copy and paste this into your browser and just download the shortcut onto your iPad and then follow along on how to set everything up if you'd like. If you do choose that, you need to go to settings and find shortcuts. Where are shortcuts? And you need to allow private sharing because um, otherwise you won't be able to download uh, the shortcut onto your iPad. So be sure to do that and then you can download the shortcut. Okay, so let's get into the shortcut. Now this is add an event and you'll see the titles up here, add event. Now when you are um, in here, you'll see these yellow pieces are my comments and it's instructions on how to set it up. Um, so let's just go through it. So the first one says, be sure to select your app below where it says open app. So it says open app. So you're going to select uh, good notes. You can also, um, you can select note shelf notability. I have a separate video for note shelf and notability that you'll want to watch later, but I'll let you know when to do that. Okay. So it says open good notes. Now it says, be sure to show more and then you can change your default calendar. You will also be able to change the calendar when you add an event too. And I'll show you that. And then this only applies if you have multiple calendars. Some people just have one calendar. Others have multiple calendars. Um, you could have Google Calendar. It doesn't matter. So, so you'll see this piece of information. It says add title from tomorrow to tomorrow. And then there's a little arrow to drop down. You're going to want to tap the arrow. So do nothing here except for you can change the default calendar that you want um, every time you tap on this link to open to. Now, it really doesn't matter. You can change the calendar when you are creating your event too. Um, so, I mean, it's really up to you, personal preference. And then that is literally the shortcut. This is such an easy shortcut to set up. Um, once you've filled out this information, you're going to want to go up to the little play button up here. And this will test your shortcut, Okay. Actually, I don't want it to open my family calendar. I'm going to have it open this one. Okay, so there you go. You know it works. So now that you know that your shortcut has worked, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to look at this bottom comment, okay? The bottom comment says the link URL you will enter in your app is, and then I give this link. I also have this link on my website. Where's my website? Down here. 
So we filled in the required information. So now you wanna add this shortcut link to GoodNotes. This is the shortcut link you'll add to GoodNotes. Now, if you are a Note Shelf Notability or another app user, you're gonna go wanna watch that video. And I do have, uh, just go find, it. it's, it's on the website, it's in this uh, description of YouTube as well. So just, if you're those people, Go watch that video. We're going to continue on here in Good Notes, okay? So you're going to want to copy this link here, and you are going to want to put it into Good Notes. So I already have this copied for me, so to save time. So I am going to copy it. All right. So now what you're going to do is you're going to add the link. All right, so what that looks like is you're just going to press and hold with your finger. You can do it, I think, with your... I always use my finger, so I don't even know. Can you, I'm sure you can do it with your pen, too. It's going to... In GoodNotes, you know, you have the option to link internally or externally. So we're going to link to a website, and you'll see it automatically pops up link to GoodNotes. So we want to delete that. And then we want to paste in our link. Okay, you can see it says Erica at event because that's my, my personal link. Now you're gonna to wanna to make sure you click return. All right, otherwise it could default back to um, the good notes pre the one that they put in for you. Okay, so now we have our link. All right, so now you can take this link and you can put it anywhere you want. You can see it's kind of small. I'll resize it. You can take this link and put it anywhere you want in any template you want, anywhere you want. or you can also, like what I have done is I made my shortcuts and then I made the links. So you can see how I have all the links. And then I took an icon and I put it over each link, right? I created kind of like a master file and I highly recommend you do the same thing if this is something that you are planning on setting up for any of these shortcut links. Because then all you have to do is when you need it, you can, you already have it set up. You can just copy it and paste it wherever you want. So let's see, I'm going to go put this in um, my planner. So I'm just going to paste that. All right, so this is add an event. And there you go. That is my recommendation to you because I think that'll just save you so much time in the long run. And then you won't have to go back and forth to shortcuts to get the link and prepare everything, prepare it once. You only need to prepare it once, okay? Um, all these icons over here are free to download on my website as well. I just made them up for you. I mean, you can put anything you want. You could have a picture of your dog if you wanted. You can do anything you want. But um, that way, yeah, I just, that's my advice to you. Set, whoopsies, set up something so you can just easily, quickly copy and paste it wherever you want it. Now, before we move on or before we end this, there's something very important that I forgot to share, and it's everywhere. I have it written down, but the link URL, so the name of the shortcut is add event, and then you can see here in the shortcut URL, name equals add event. The add event and add event, they need to match exactly. So if you decide to change the name of the shortcut, right up here, you need to change the name of your link. Otherwise, the link will be broken and it won't work. So um, that is just a piece of advice from me to you. All right. So anyway, I hope this helped. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to view your events in your um, view events in your planner, which is kind of fun. And it looks like this. It'll pull up all of your events. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye.